It is every white girl's favorite fantasy. It's fall. Is that racist? Hi guys, it's Gina. So today we're doing of the fall, not fall essentials. What is it called? What is this called? Fall favorites. Fall favorites. Tag. It's been a while since I filmed a video, so I thought this would be a great video to jump back into things. Everybody and their mama is talking about Bath and Body Works. I was on that bandwagon. I hear you. I still kind of am. I'm just like behind in the caboose. I'm like way behind. I have actually, okay, I will say that I do have leaves burning back there. This is a Last Leaves candle I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy for a while. I've been obsessed with leaves and all those other ones for forever since like 2010, 2009 and honestly I'm just over them. I just need to find a new candle brand that I really love and has really unique scents. I'm not a huge like sweet scent person so honestly like a lot of the food scents from Bath and Body Works are not my favorite. Like all the pumpkin cheesecakes and all of those kinds are not my favorite. I like more of like um like a spicy masculine type of smell if you get my drift. On that note my favorite right now, and hopefully you guys haven't heard of this brand so I can introduce you to something new, is number four, Teakwood and Tobacco. I got this in a boutique store in Leavenworth when me and my sister went, and I got like grapefruit and something else, which was amazing. I burned through that during the summer, and this one is Teakwood and Tobacco. It's a soy candle, handmade in California with 100% soy wax, and it's by PF Candle Co. If you want a masculine scent, if you dream of like what Brad Pitt smells like. I bet you anything this is what he smells like. What? This is like a better version of Bath and Body Works Mahogany Teakwood. It's like 10 times better than that. So this is what the description of this is because Lord knows I cannot talk about scents. So according to this website, it says Tequan and tobacco smells like pipe smoke wafting over an orange orchard. Really, no wonder why I love it. Did I just say that? I should probably edit that out. Anyways, it's amazing. They're not the cheapest because they're handmade and they're soy, but they're much better candles than Bath and Body Works. So I highly suggest you try them out if I can find a link which obviously I can because I just read from it. I will leave it down below so you guys can check them out. Favorite lip color is what I'm wearing right now. It is the epitome of fall to me. Could be the name. Could be because I got it during the fall. So those two could correlate. But I love this color. It's Twig from MAC. It's like a perfect pinky mauve color. It's subdued enough that it makes me feel like it's a fall color. I didn't wear this at all during the summertime. I just feel like it just wasn't bright enough. Um, but I feel like it would look good on a variety of skin tones. And I mean, it's a cult classic. It is so good. I'm going to cheat on this one. I have one coffee drink and one alcoholic drink. So let's start with the really fun one, the alcoholic drink. I found this at my local grocery store. It is a local grocery store that carries a lot of Washington brand alcohols and wines and ciders and all of that. We had not a brewery, but like a brew house that opened up really close to our house. And this was the first thing I tried from there and I've fallen in love. I drank this during the summertime too and it just made me so excited for the fall because literally if you could taste fall, this is what it would taste like. It's a baked apple spiced hard apple cider. Oh. Love this stuff. It's by D's Wicked Cider and I think they're in... They're in Kennewick, Washington, which is like central Washington. And this is like my baby. When I saw this at the grocery store, I just about died because it's so good. It's really sweet. It has all those really reminiscent um, 
different smells and tastes that you associate with the fall. Cinnamon, clove. What are some of the other ones? I'm drawing a blank. You get the drift. Like, oh, you guys, if you can find this in your store, please do. It's so, so, so good. I don't have the cool Starbucks coffee mugs that everybody's talking about to show you. Because I like ice drinks from Starbucks. They're, the ice drinks are my absolute favorite. So today, I got the, what is this? The Salted Caramel Mocha Frappuccino from Starbucks, obviously. What's funny is for me to like this drink, it has to be in the Frappuccino version because having it hot, it just has like this kind of, not burnt taste, but like the mocha in it, it's just like a little too dark chocolate chalky, if you know what I mean. So I don't like it hot. And I've tried it cold just over ice and it's like the same thing. But for some reason it blended up with the ice. Call me crazy. It just tastes so much better. It comes with turbinado sugar on top and then sea salt. And the sea salt is what I think is the huge kicker for me. Why I love it so much. And then they also put a uh, caramel drizzle on the top. Which who doesn't love caramel drizzle? Come on. Who doesn't love it? I didn't really have to think about this because I wear this all the time in the fall. It's Tarte Exposed. I'm sure we have all seen this blush. It's just a really perfect muted pink. Sometimes it comes off more tan, sometimes it comes off more pink, depending on the eye color you're wearing. I am wearing this today and because my eyeshadow is kind of tannish-ish, um, to me, it's coming up kind of more tan than pink. So it really is like a transforming type of color, and I, I just love this during the fall. It works for so many different eye looks. I think when I did my fall, no, I know for a fact when I did my fall essentials tag, like in 2011 or something like that, I'll link it below so you can see how funny it is. I talked about these boots because I have been wearing these for that long. Like, these are my go-to boots for in the fall and sometimes in the winter, depending on what the weather's like. But these are, I think they're called like the Lee Boot. And they're from a website called Alloy, which I think at the time was kind of in the age range. Now I'm like too chubby to wear a lot of their stuff. So, um... It's more kind of like, how do I say this? It's for younger people. <laughs> Let's just say it like that. But these are really inexpensive. I have these in black and in tan, and they're just perfect. They're so comfortable, just completely flat heel, and they're scrunchy. So I love, love, love these with leggings. They have so much give to them, which is why I love them. And right now I do have a thick calf. So if you're a thick calved girl, you could totally pull these off. They really stretch out and they have a lot of give. So I absolutely love these and they're really inexpensive. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh. I know it's kind of more, I think, considered probably a holiday movie, but oh my god. Steve Martin and John Candy oh, are so amazing in that movie. It's funny, it's sad, it has so much range of emotion, and it always brings back the greatest memory for me because my dad loved that movie. We watch it every year. And I, I can just like see him sitting in the chair just laughing his butt off watching that movie. So every time I watch that movie it's kind of like I'm channeling my dad and I just love it. One of my favorite parts is when he's trying to sell the, um, <laughs> the shower curtains as earrings and chicks are actually buying them. That's like one of my favorite parts. It's so funny. And then when their car like explodes on fire and they're still driving it. That's pretty awesome too. Walking Dead. Plain and simple. Actually, no, okay. 
this is really hard because there's so many fall TV shows that come out that are really, really good. It would have to be a toss-up between Walking Dead and American Horror Story. My sister and I, we make it like kind of like a girls' night every Wednesday when it's on because we're obsessed with it. It's always fun and exciting to see what this season's going to be about this year. Um, we still think out of all the ones that have come out so far, I believe there's been four seasons. Uh, the second season was the absolute best. It's raunchy, it's dirty, it's nasty, and it's freaky. <laughs> I mean, some of the stuff that they show on there, it's like, really? <laughs> this should be on at like 11 o'clock at night. But it's awesome. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. I didn't have to think about this one very hard. It is stuffing. So my card was full. So I'm not sure where I ended off at. So I'm not sure where I ended up, up at what? <laughs> Anyways, I'm not sure where I ended off. There we go. Um, favorite Thanksgiving food. I was talking about that. Stuffing has always been my absolute favorite part. Put some gravy on that shit, mix it in with your mashed potatoes, put some fucking butter on there, go to town. It's like... Now we grew up eating stovetop stuffing. Nothing wrong with stovetop. I'll eat it any day of the week. It's fine. But a couple years ago, I started making this butternut squash stuffing. That shit is legit. It has butternut squash in it, I think sage sausage, um, kale, what else does it have in it, and I think focaccia bread. There's nothing better than that stuffing. Unfortunately, the majority of my family doesn't care for it because they're so stuck in mom's Thanksgiving dinner with the stovetop stuffing, nothing can change that they're not really even willing to really like it. So usually I make just a little portion for me. If you guys wanna see the recipe and how I make it, trust me. <laughs> Somebody tell me you want me to make it cause I will make it and video it. It's so good. Another thing that I absolutely love that a lot of people will probably think is kind of gross, but ever since I was little, I just got so excited for it. And it was the cranberry jelly. It's not cranberry jelly. I'll insert a picture right, right here or right here. It's like the stack of like cranberry gelatin kind of. And you cut it into slices and it's just tart and sl slightly sweet. And you just cut a little piece off and take a little piece of turkey and eat it together. And it's so good. I actually have some in my pantry. I'm just too lazy to go downstairs and get it. Um, I'm just going to throw this in there. One thing that I do not like is pumpkin pie. <laughs> Sorry if that doesn't make me American, but I've never been into pumpkin pie or apple pie or any pie for that matter unless it has chocolate in it. The first one that immediately comes into mind is when I was a slutty Goldilocks. I used to have blonde hair so I thought it would be good to be a slutty Goldilocks. If I can find a picture I'll insert it somewhere. Um, but then the more I thought about it the more I thought of how old was I? Maybe six, seven, eight. I can't remember what year it was, but we used to live in Minnesota and it was like the biggest blizzard storm of like the century on Halloween night. And I was supposed to be a fairy and I had my whole costume and I was so excited to be this fairy throughout like the whole month. I just could not wait. And then the blizzard happened. And I originally wasn't going to go trick-or-treating because it was just so terrible. But my dad felt so bad for me. So obviously I couldn't wear my fairy costume. It was way too light. And so we basically just dressed me up in my snowsuit, you know, in my like snow pants and, you know, all that stuff. And my dad, like, it literally kind of like makes me want to cry thinking about it. 
because it's just like such a great memory for me. Um, he drove me house by house and our neighbor, we just had a regular neighborhood so houses weren't very far but the snow was so thick and the sidewalks were completely like covered over so I, there was no way I could walk. So he drove me from house to house and put me on his back and walked me up to every single house so I could get candy. And people were like, oh my god, we can't believe you're out, and da 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 and I just made such bank that year in candy because everybody was trying to give it away because nobody was trick-or-treating because the weather was so bad. And people were like, well, what are you? And my dad just said, or told me to say that I was like a race car driver. Even though I didn't look like one, it was just something that we could tell people. Um, so that is one of like my favorite memories, you know, it just goes to show how much my dad loved me and, you know, he didn't want to disappoint me on Halloween because I was so excited. So that was, I mean, that is probably my favorite Halloween costume ever. I am so bad at outros. Let's just be real. I'm not even going to try and fake it. That's the end of the fall favorites tag. I am very excited it's fall. I can't wait till the holidays. It's like, like everybody says, it really is my favorite time of season. I still feel like I'm like two years old and I'm just still so excited for everything. And I just love all the family time and, you know, orchard picking and going to haunted houses and finally getting to wear sweaters and boots. I just absolutely love it. So I hope you guys love it as much as me. And until the next video, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.